happy new year and thank you very much for your support in 2022 and i am expecting much more support from you all in this year and i know you will make it possible have you seen my latest video in which i have covered each and every tutorial which we have made in the year 2022 in just 2 minute if not check it after this tutorial in this tutorial we will create this animation don't worry it is very simple so let's start on our channel think sci-fi go to geometry node by selecting the default cube add a new geometry node and replace the group input with grid make x and y vertex 2 then add a subdivision surface in between increase the level up to 6 now when you play with the edge grass you can see the shape of plane is changing before anything as add a transform node then set material and in modify setting add solidify modifier and increase thickness add the timeline in the bottom then make the end frame 60 for a while then at frame 0 enter keyframe in it crash and z rotation of transform node then again at frame 50 enter keyframe in both then go to frame 25 increase it crash to 1 and enter keyframe and make the rotation z value 90 degree and again enter keyframe now you can see the animation increase the scale value to 4 select the light and make it make it x and y location 0 select the object again and make a duplicate of it by pressing shift d then click the number 2 written written just next to geometry node it is important very important the meaning of 2 is that this one geometry node is applied to two different object so if you make any changes in geometry node both the object get affected similarly but we want to make two different geometry node for two different object that's why we have to click 2 after clicking 2 enter point 3 in z translation of transform node so that the second plane will move little bit upward then decrease the scale value to 3.6 so that the plane will be smaller than the previous one go to the render view and make the world completely black so that you can see the difference now make one more duplicate from the second plane by pressing shift d then again click to near the geometry node again move it point 3 from the previous plane in the z location and reduce the scale value 2.4 from the previous one similarly with the same steps i will add seven more planes and meet you after that I have added all the ten plane. If you are facing any problem, reduce the playback time, and you can see the steps. Click seven for the top view and press Control Alt zero to set the camera to the view. Select the camera and make its x and y location zero. Reduce its focal length. Now play with the z location. I am selecting ten. Here all the planes have same starting and end keyframe. that's why the animation is exactly same but according to the animation we have to add 2 to 3 frame difference between bottom to top plane which we have to add manually so for that first plane have exactly the same keyframe then select the cube 001 second plane move your timeline cursor to frame 2 then press g on the keyboard and move the keyframe to frame forward Similarly select the cube 002 plane 3 move the timeline cursor to frame 4 press G on the keyboard and move the keyframe to frame 4 again with cube 003 move the timeline cursor to frame 6 press G and move the keyframe to 6 similarly we have to add keyframe to all the rest planes
when you are done increase the timeline up to the last frame of the top plane which is 68 in my case now see you can see the effect clearly reduce the point light power and also move it in and also move it in z location near the top plane Increase the radius of point light which make the light little bit softer and make the scene more 3D. For EV, go to render property and increase and enable all the three options. One more option which we have to do manually is the material part. Select the top plane. As we have used the default cube, the material is applied automatically. We have to just click this 10 written next to material. As I explained early, 10 means the same material is applied to the 10 object. And if you make any changes in the material, all the 10 object get affected in the same manner. So to make it a separate material, we have to click 10 and then select the same material name in the set material of geometry node and choose the color whatever you want for your scene or you can use a color palette here. I am adding color manually. When you have decided the color, then go to hex and copy the hex code by pressing Ctrl C. After that, select cube 008, then click 9 next to material and select the same material in the set material of geometry node. Now in color, paste the hex code, then adjust the color so that it will be just a little bit different from the previous one. When you decide the color, again copy the hex code, then select the cube 007 and again press 8 and select the same material in the set material of geometry node and paste the hex code in the color and choose the color just a little bit different from the previous one. Again copy the hex code and follow the same step with the rest of planes if you want to see these steps reduce the playback time After that, if you want to render it in cycle, go to the cycle, go to cycle, select GPU and reduce the viewport maximum sampling to 10 and render maximum sampling to 64. You can render it in EV, but we have choose cycle because we will add little bit transparency in some plane. So go to, go to setting tab, select the bottom plane, add mix shader in between. Then connect transparent to mix shader and increase the mix shader factor value. Select the next plane and apply same steps to it also. Just the factor value will be less than the previous one. Follow the same steps with the third plane and here also the factor value must be less than the previous one. Now in render property color management in look select high contrast it will make your scene complete. Thank you very much and don't forget to check my last text animation tutorial and also support me on patreon